so we have started our day it's currently about 9 in the morning and the drive to windsor castle takes about an hour from a hotel we are on the motorway 4 which connects london to southern part of wales country so our one hour drive is over and a few minutes walk to the windsor castle so what is exactly windsor windsor is a town on the river thames in south east england just west of london it is home to windsor castle a residence of the british royal family right in front of us is a old railway bridge now we are right beneath it and on the left side on the bridge is a railway station that is the windsor railway station you can come here by train too for visiting the castle it's a very long walk from the coach parking to the castle first you have to go to a lift and a shopping market and finally then you reach the line the shopping market is known as the windsor royal shopping and after the long walk we are in the line and on the left is the majestic windsor castle The Windsor Castle is the weekend home of the Queen of the United Kingdom. There are separate entrance lines for individual tourists and group tourists and as we are the group tourists we have a shorter line to enter the castle. The royal wedding, the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan took place in the St George's Chapel in Windsor Castle on 19th May. I am really impressed with the construction of these houses they are really cute and beautiful the state apartments queen mary's dolls house and saint george chapel they are the various parts like sections of the windsor castle We have reached castle on the right tram and we are lucky enough that we are going to see the changing of guard ceremony. There is a strict security check before entering the Windsor Castle like they check your bags and uh, metal detectors and it's just like an airport. This is the entrance ticket for the Windsor Castle like a band or kind of thing. like about an half an hour of waiting and now we are inside the majestic windsor castle it is pretty windy over here but it's not that cold we are going to visit the state apartment part of the windsor castle <clears throat> another tip for visiting the windsor castle first of all you do not actually need a guide to explain you the things this is because they provide you free audio guides It's like uh, they give you a headphones and a touch screen device when you tap on the place you are then the pre-recorded guide starts and it is actually the most useful thing over here This castle was built by William the Conqueror in the 11th century the castle was extensively remodeled by subsequent monarchs You can see that the flag on the top of the castle is not actually the British Union Jack. This indicates that the queen is currently inside the castle. Tourists are not allowed beyond this point as the queen actually lives here. Speaking about the state apartments, the state apartments are actually the home to the royal collections of the kings and queens. As this is a royal place, photography is not allowed inside the buildings and i will just specify you what uh, we had seen inside the building so there were many portraits of kings and queens and many types of accessories used by them we were able to see the crockery the dining room a huge dining table the living room and drawing room bedroom closets and what not I need to stop my recording at this point
See you back at the changing of guard ceremony. I need to put some music over here otherwise the video will sound empty.
so this was all about the changing of the guard ceremony another important thing i need to tell you is that you can actually click photos with the soldiers that is the red coats but don't dare to click selfies with them as it is considered like a disrespect for them This is the free audio device that you can use to explore various parts of the Windsor Castle. Our visit to the Windsor Castle is done. We have to drop our headphones right on the left and now we are proceeding towards our lunch. Just sighted and hop on hop off bus. This is the train station which I had told you at the beginning of my video. It's really like a fantasy land. The Windsor Castle is really worth a visit. You get to know various things, the life of the queens, kings and the medieval ages. And you can actually learn how beautifully these people have conserved their rich heritage. You feel a sense of royalty. When you enter inside their apartments, they are really huge structures. It's about 12.20 and an hour's drive into the city for our lunch.